Hey guys and welcome back to the AC Milan career mode. I first off want to say a massive thank you for the support on the previous episode. You guys seem to be really enjoying it. A lot of views, a lot of likes. I'm very happy about how that went down. Also, I'm happy because I'm recording this the day after uh, the Milan derby in real life, which we won 3-0. I've never felt this good in my life for the past five years when it comes to football. Thank you, Milan, for actually delivering. Hopefully we can do them proud in today's episode and we can actually do some stuff. We don't really have the toughest of schedules. And with my current very happy hippie mindset, I'm expecting to just easily win games here today. We've got three games, Atalanta, Chievo and Sassuolo in the cup. A lot of you guys left comments on my transfer business uh, with Robin Erhardt or Robert Erhardt, uh, the young left back. I should play the young guys in the cup and that's exactly what I'm going to do. A lot of these people are going to make their debut in the cup. But first, we've got Atalanta. Let's go get the win. This is the side I've picked. Balotelli is not playing. Uh, De Cilio is not playing. Both are out of form and a bit tired. This is a team I've picked that's strong enough to get the win. By the way, I just want to let you know I've shortlisted a bunch of other regen players that I'm taking a look at. After this game, we're going to take a look at their stats and see who's interesting to pick up. But right now, I need to get this transfer business out of my head and play the game because we need three points here. Lovely pass by Bonaventura. Donati has the pace and the technical ability to get past the few. Ricardo Donati on his left foot has to be 1-0 and he does not fail. Ricardo Donati is a god on the ball. He literally feels like Lionel Messi and I've said it before, but he's incredible. I've never played with a player this good. Just a simple ball down the line and look what he creates. Need to win that header. Well done by Maximovic. Alan is going to try and break on them. We can't. It's 1-0 at half time. A fantastic start from the Rossoneri, but after that, we just haven't created anything and 1-0 is... Even though we scored a goal, a very boring scoreline. Look at the stats. There's only been three shots in this first half. Awful. Hakan, this could be something here. Donati is making the run. He's in behind. Ricardo Donati with the chip. Why did I not just power that? That's completely my fault. I'm trying to go for montage goals and I'm going to get punished here. They're one on one and they deserve to score because I'm a fucking retard. I should not have chipped. That was stupid. We get punished. Fair enough. Completely my fault. Not the team's fault. Donati has got good stats, but I want to curl it up and over the wall. Hakan, do me proud off the crossbar, please. Menez has been quiet this game, but he has found El Shrawi, and one chance could be enough here for Milan. Stefan goes through everyone. Oh, what a save. I was ready to shout, what a goal, because El Shrawi did the hard bit, but he just couldn't finish it off. Stefan, what is that finishing, mate? Doesn't matter. Oh, damn it. Another good save by the keeper. Rawi into Alan. I wanted to go to Chalhanoglu. He eventually goes to Chalhanoglu, who plays through Donati. Has to score. Oh my god, this keeper. This keeper is on drugs. I want him drug tested after this game. We still get the ball back somehow. Nearly gave away a penalty. Chalhanoglu this time. I want him drug tested. And it's offside. Final chance of the game. Stefan El Sharawi is going for it. He's going to try and unlock this defense. El Sharawi's gone through them all. Stefan! You have to be kidding me! How have we not won this game? That's the end of it as well, like Bruno Perez. Come on, man. Nah, no, come on. This is a joke. This is a joke. How have we not won this game? Why do I always start off shit? Ten shots, eight on target, and we couldn't score. Ah, oh, I don't believe this, like. And I have to give man of the match. I don't know how to give it to. I honestly don't. If it was based on the first half, Alan would have gotten it, but FIFA seemed to disagree because his rating is not the best. Donati is going to get it purely because of the fact that he scored an awesome goal and he really was the only one who could do something. I mean, like we should have been out of sight after about an hour. I don't know how we did not win this game, but it seems to be the trend. Every first game of every episode for me ends up in not winning somehow. All right, we've got a transfer offer and a monthly scouting update. Marcos Andrade has got great potential. He's going to get signed up. I'm going to try and find the mix between scouted youth players and regens in this career mode. I'm scouting a lot of regens at the moment. I need to make sure I've got enough youth in there as well to keep the balance alive. Uh, Nigeria doesn't really give me anything good. Keith is the final one. Rigione or Rigione, whatever his name is, is going to get signed up. Uh, Ardizone as well. Jesus, the, our youth team is full. The scouts are doing great work. Now, here we go. Ardizone can get signed up. Everyone else will get rejected. We're going to take a look at the transfer offer in just a second. It's a transfer offer for Rafael Romo. Romo offering 45.5 million. It's not going to happen. Reject all offers, disallow future offers. He's our future first team goalkeeper. 
Game against Kevo, a must win game. We are now second in the league. We've lost top spot to Lazio. We've got a game in hand on them. If we win, we're two points clear. It's as simple as that. I'm still mad at myself for chipping it when we were 1 0 up and I could have put the game to bed. I cannot allow the same mistakes to happen again. And even though we are still the best defensive team in the league, I'm not happy with how we're doing recently. We've been conceding a few goals here and there. I mean, I remember a couple of episodes ago, we only conceded five goals. We've now doubled that. I want a defensive display that gives us a clean sheet this time. Basilio, I'm looking at you. Oh, Donati straight away. He's just, he's just too good. Even when he gets pushed up the ball, he has the strength to hold on to it. Bertolacci, Balotelli, Balotelli turns, could be a good goal, good save. And it's Ricardo Donati again. Is it a surprise, people? Is it really a surprise that Donati is the guy again who scores? Credit to Balotelli, that's a brilliant turn. He's already done more than Jeremy Menez in the last game. He set up the goal for Donati, who's now on how many? Nine. That's not too bad, halfway through the season. It's a tough call, Donati or Balotelli, but Donati has just got superior stats across the board. He's going to go for the power free kick from 34 yards out. Ricardo Donati. I, is it a surprise, people? I'm not even going to sound excited or surprised. I just can't do it. That would be acting, because I know this man can do this. This is what he does. I'm going to call it now. He's the world's best player. He's already pretty good, let's be fair. Look at that. Just what a strike. Donati's on the ball, you can already prepare for a 3-0 scoreline here because he's going to cut through everyone. Donati, 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 you naughty boy. It nearly was 3-0 as well. Just look at those half-time stats, we absolutely bossed them. They haven't had a chance, they haven't had a shot, we're all over them. And unless Donati scores three own goals in that second half, he's going to get man of the match because his performances today have been outstanding. Making one change as well, I think I'm going to bring on... Uh, Insigne, Insigne, let's go for it. Just attack, have a bit of fun. We're 2 0 in the lead, we're cruising. Oh, El Sharawi has dispossessed Gambiriri. Donati is there for the hat trick. Donati, Balotelli, nah, I'm joking. I wasn't going to give Donati the hat trick. I mean, come on. It's getting boring and repetitive now. Balotelli can get on the score sheet as well. It's 3 0. He's on 7, he's chasing down Donati here, Mario. He's having a decent season as well so far. Not the best lately, but overall, I'm very happy with him. Oh, what are we doing, boys? What are we doing? We've just given them a goal. We've just given them a goal. I'm special. I'm retarded. I am many things. But uh, I don't know, man. This is this pisses me off. I wanted a clean sheet. Insigne into Alan. Alan back into Insigne, who's going to hit it first time. Lorenzo Insigne, ladies and gentlemen, has done it again. This is not the first time we've seen him bang one from outside the box, but... I don't even know which one I prefer, the one that was hitting off the crossbar or that one. That's an incredible finish. Like, don't underestimate the difficulty of that shot. The keeper is nowhere near it. 4-1. Well done. And that's the end of the game. Milan have battered Kievo 4-1 in what was literally... They were literally our toy. We just played with them for 90 minutes and it was incredible. Like, once again... When there was a contest in the last game for Man of the Match, there is no contest anymore. Donati is going to win it for the second time in a row. And finally, just before the final game of today's episode, we've got the final scout reports on all these young guys that I was scouting, those regen players that I'm interested in, and we've also got transfer offers. So let's take a look. Mario Balotelli to Leicester City. The insults to Mario's address are real. Like, I, I don't want to do it. I just know. So let's take a look at some of these players. I'm not saying I'm going to sign a couple of them in this transfer window, but they're there for the future. Let me know who you want me to pick up. We've got Robin Tim Heiser, a CDM from Germany, 18 years old, brilliant physical stats, decent technical stats to be fair to him. His passing is good. That looks fantastic. Let's move on to the next one. We've got Pierluigi Busalato again, superior in the physical department. Uh, only three star weak foot skill moves, bad work rates, maybe not the best. Uh, then we've got, let's move on to Jose Juan Aguado Arriazu, if I said that right. Again, I'm always looking for players that are perfect in the physical department because you can't train that. And even though they're lacking in the technical department, there is a way to like boost that by training. So, not too bad there. Let me know if you're interested in him. This is Frank Ribery's pre-gen. I don't think Ribery has retired, so that's why we're calling it pre-gen. He's perfect everywhere. Technical, uh, physical, maybe not mental, but you know what I mean. He's He's got good stats. Five-star skills as well. Not the best work rates, but he's definitely someone for the future, maybe. Let me know what you think. We've got Kevin Sony, who 
Uh, maybe isn't as great as I initially thought. We've got Rafael to regen from Borussia Mönchengladbach. Again, looking like a solid little player physically. Four-star, four-star, high-low work rates from Brazil. I, I'm actually really tempted to pick him up. He looks great. Um, other than that, we have got Obokop, who probably has the most impressive physical stats of the lot with his 92 sprint speed, 90 uh, agility, good work rates as well. Uh, we've got a few strikers here and there as well. You, you can see the stats. You've, you've got an idea of who is good and who isn't good. Let me know who you want me to pick up, either in this transfer window or the next one. Right now, it's time to play the final game of today's episode, Sassuolo in the Cup. The side is completely rotated. There is one man making his debut, and that is Erhard in left back. Let's see how he does. Player debut, defender, 18 years old from um, Bayern Munich previously. 2 million, Robert Erhard. Let's, oh, he looks he looks good. The swag is on point. High socks. You've got to untuck that shirt. Don't worry about that. But he's got a nice hairstyle. He looks like a proper good left back. Just because of his appearance. My mind is fucked up. Oh, no. Erhardt has been done on his flank. And it's 1-0 to Sassuolo. I'm not going to put the blame on the young guy. My defense was just poor. My defending in general has always been a bit poor. I just slid in for no reason and have taken the lead. Wait a second. Wait, wait a minute. Busselato scored for Sassuolo. Wasn't that one of the guys? One of those regens I was scouting. I may have to pick him up after all. Holly inside. Looking for the pass. Baselli this time. It's 1-1. There we go. He's had about three shots in this game. Or a CDM. And he finally converts one. Well done. Oh, Niang. You did not just cut through two of them. And that is a red card offence. I do not care. That should be a red. He should be off. Make it short and br make it brief, ref. Just show him the red. There is no excuses. To you're not even you're not even booking him. All right. I'm just gonna score this free kick instead. It's still annoying though. It's still very annoying because they should have been down to ten men. We would have taken the lead now and we would have been cruising. Now we've only got the wait. We actually scored. Now we've only got the one goal lead and they've got eleven men on the pitch. They could easily bring this back. Well done, Hacken, by the way. Um, I seem to shoot well when I'm frustrated the pressure is unreal in these final few minutes if they're gonna score I'm not gonna be happy because they should have had 10 men look at that they're gonna score aren't they <sighs> thank fuck for that and that's the end of the game we've won the game 2-1 very happy with the result not so happy with how it panned out you know with Sassuolo really put on pressure on us and I think Looking at the stats, we do deserve to win, but it actually was more an even game than, than I thought it was. As we're looking at the other results in the cup, I am going to think about man of the match. I didn't look at the FIFA ratings. I did that deliberately because I want to have just my view on it, not have FIFA interfere. And in my opinion, Niang was excellent, created a lot of chances, was dangerous in his uh, striker role. And I'm going to give it to Niang. Why not? Oh, Andrea Pauli, you're a weird one. Whenever an offer comes in for him, I'm tempted to counter offer and see what they, you know, they're willing to give for him. I, I'm not planning to sell him, but if the right offer comes round, why not? Like 28 million seems like a decent price. But that's going to be it for now. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Let's take a look at what the next episode has got in store for us. Genoa, Carpi, and Udinese. Again, three games. We have to win. The Champions League is returning as well pretty soon. I hope you enjoyed. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all later.